This cute 48 inch table that I just made a little while ago has been the most requested tutorial I've ever had on my TikTok and Instagram. So let me show you really quickly how I made this. These modern legs that are on this table I did not make. I actually found them on Amazon and I will link them in the description below along with the other materials and tools needed. I'm using five quarter inch poplar that I found at my local lumber yard and I'm going to plane and joint all of this down. Now, if you're not familiar with the planing or jointing process, I have another video called How I Make My Tabletops, and it goes into a little more detail about this process and the different ways if you don't have a jointer to accomplish the same look. A planer flattens out and smooths down rough lumber on the top and the bottom or the faces of the lumber. A jointer will do the edges and once you've jointed it, you can actually fit the pieces together and glue the tabletop together. And that's a really quick description of this entire process. Make sure you check out that other video if you have questions. Now I was making two different tables at the same time, but the same shape. So in the next few videos, things might look a little differently, but the process remains the same. Now that I've jointed everything and they fit together nicely, I glued the edges and then clamped them down overnight to Once dry. the glue is dry, flip the table over so that the underside is facing up and set it on a couple sawhorses. And for this section, you're actually going to need a plunge router. Now in this clip, I am using a Ryobi two horsepower plunge router, and you'll see in the future of this video that I actually switched up to a DeWalt. The Ryobi quit on me halfway through this cut, and I had to go buy a new DeWalt. This is the plunge router kit that I ended up getting and one that I would recommend. There is a learning curve for routers, so make sure you play around with those before you do something like this and learn how to use it and how it works. Now we're going to make the guide for the circle cut. For this guide, I'm using a half inch piece of poplar that I had on hand and I cut a hole in the end where my router will sit. And then I marked center and made a mark 24 inches from the center of that hole because that is half of the radius of the table. So for a four foot table, it'd be 24 inches from the center of the hole or for a five foot table, which I also marked on this guide, it would be two and a half feet from the center of the hole. And for a six foot table, it would be three feet. Now you need to know this is kind of a janky way to make a circle top table. They do have guides that you can buy that will attach to your router. That's probably a safer way to go. But I've been woodworking for a while, so I kind of felt like I could handle this and find a way to attach my router. I attached my router to the guide and I made it so that there were no screws on the bottom of the guide. Then I cut off all the excess of the circle. I have done this without cutting off the excess and had some problems. Actually, a lot of kickback on the router and it was much more difficult. I will also attach the router bit that I used that is an upcut bit and helps to remove the pieces that are, or the debris from the router as you go around. You do wanna take it in short 1 8 inch passes and then clean up the dust and debris in between each pass. I have my extension cord mounted to the ceiling of my garage, so that makes plugging in the router a lot more safe. You just wanna make sure the cord stays out of the way and you're wearing all the safety gear necessary. Next, I flipped the table over when I had just about an eighth inch left and I used my trim router to clean that up. That makes it so there's not very much tear out, if any at all. Then I sanded down the entire tabletop and this took forever, but I'm gonna spare you the details. Once that was done, I attached this to the metal legs that came from Amazon using just some screws that came with them and through the holes that were already made in the legs. Makes it super easy. These legs are super cool and they have adjustable feet that come with them that attach to the bottom as well. Then I added a little white stain because this helps poplar from turning yellow over time. And then I clear coated it all with a seal and I did probably two to three coats. And here it is. Isn't she a beaut? I absolutely love this table and it turned out so good. This is definitely an intermediate project, but give it a try if it's something you've been wanting to do. Just make sure you figure out how to use that router really well first. Thanks so much for watching this quick tutorial on this cute round table. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and here on YouTube if you want to see more DIY projects and fun woodworking like this.